Our second film record of the operations in Iraq concerns the battle around the British aerodrome at Habania. The British troops were surrounded by rebels under the Iraqi quizzling Rashid Ali. He ordered bombardment of this vital defence of the oil well. It has already been reported that the revolt was broken. Order has been restored in this rather distant suburb. A few Nazi Messerschmitts came over, probably from Syria, but these were driven off and the RAF remained in control of the Iraq skies. Heavy losses were inflicted on the rebels by the bombing of transport columns and reinforcements on the Fallujah Road. A little boat went out under fire across the Euphrates by the wrecked bridge at Ramadi. Under covering fire from the bridge, they accomplished their mission and got back safely, but only just. Prisoners were put to work repairing a breach in the dike over the flood waters of the Euphrates. Watching the work was Captain Roosevelt, son of the American president, with our GOC, General Clark. While he was filming the work on the flooded road, our cameraman secured these pictures of the regent of Iraq, who was in the district. Bottles containing identification papers have been placed on the graves of Iraqi rebels who died in the revolt. Wherever the influence of Nazism extends, death follows swiftly. But the levies who fought with the aid of our empire to preserve the established order know that a victory for Britain is their only guarantee of independence.